Leanne Reno. You're watching 2 News at 5. The Reno City Council approved a zone change last month, four to three. Many of us remember that big decision. This is the second reading of that plan. I'm Kristen Remington. I'm Ryan Canada. Thanks for keeping it here tonight. If approved, the plan will head to the Regional Planning Commission, then back to the city. Now, approval would also mean Daybreak's developers would move one step closer to building on 900 acres, 980 acres near Rattlesnake Mountain and Veterans Parkway. Paul Nelson joins us now live at Reno City Hall. So, Paul, what's the latest on the proposal? Well, the city council just started discussing it, Ryan. As you know, the original plan got shot down, so the developers turned around and sued the city for $50 million. Then they came back to the table with a new plan. They say it's exactly what the city needs. It really embraces the mix and diversity of housing products, um, and really that diversity is what we need in our housing market right now to be able to address the, the growing needs of you know, millennials and, and new home buyers coming into the market. Daybreak calls for a mix of housing and commercial units. It'll cost about a billion dollars once it's all said and done if it gets approved. Their new plan calls for 15% fewer homes. That's about 700 units. They say they'll also increase open space. They say the project would go well with the city's desire to build in town and it's agreeing to new conditions of floodplain management. Some say they'd be okay with a 400 acre project on the Butler Ranch, but that this is too much for a floodplain. To increase that to cover a thousand acres instead of 400 acres and to put very intense development in that location, I don't think is uh, appropriate. I don't think it meets our master plan. I don't think it's safe for the public. And the developers say this new plan is smaller, so it means less impact on traffic. It doesn't call for a new fire station, but the developers say they will be paying into fire and police services. It also calls for a new elementary school and possibly a new high school. Covering the big story live, Paul Nelson, 2 News.